Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Now as you can see here we finally got some custom ROMs. <laughs> so yeah I tried this out it works very good like it's very stable. Now the only thing that doesn't work in it is the air triggers and at the moment vibration doesn't work so but the dev is gonna fix it. So this a uh, video will just show you how to do it, how to install Lineage OS because it's a little bit different than how you would normally install it. But I think this is just because it's the first ROM. So what you want to do is go down to download section and then just download the file here. This will be a zip file. So before installing Lineage OS, make sure you're on Android 10 because um, less problems if you're already on Android 10 and the install will go way smoother. So if you don't know how to update I have a video here um, showing you how to update and if this doesn't work for you you can also use raw Android 10 firmware. You can just run the flash all command and I'll flash. So that's actually what I did now so that we're all on the same page. Now I'm not really going to show you how to do that because I showed you in my other videos and just to keep this video short. Alright now I'm on Asus uh, stock ROM. Now what you want to do is go into accounts and if you have any accounts here uh, make sure you delete them all, remove them all and if you go into here and the screen lock make sure you set it to none as well so that will that way we won't have any issues later on all right and then what you want to do is reboot your phone into fast boot mode so to do that just power off then once the phone is off hold down the power button and the volume up key at the same time keep holding them until you see this and so you can just leave it here for the meantime um, plug in your USB cable USB type C into the side port here so you see the black one here not the gold one well I don't think you can even yeah it doesn't even fit into the gold one anyway so <laughs> that's grand just plug in the top one there and now back onto the PC what we need to do now is we need to extract the boot image from here. So as you can see here we have a payload.bin and we need to extract it from here. We do that using payload dumper. Now if you don't know how to use payload dumper I have a guide here showing you how. This is the old version of routing but I show you how to use payload dumper. So there's the URL here and you will also need to install Fastboot and ADB. So you can watch this video as well to see how I set them up because I show you there. So here's my Fastboot platform tools folder. So your one should have ADB and Fastboot EXE. So that's the ones that we'll be using. It should look something like this if you downloaded it from the link here. So I won't be showing you how to extract the bootloader as well because I already showed you in another video and to keep this video short. Uh, if you couldn't be bothered extracting the boot image I will just link it into my telegram group so if you go down to the description of the video you'll see a telegram channel and I'll have the boot images that you need inside a pinned comment so just enter here click on pinned comment and then there you go all right so we can begin now so over here where your fast boot tools are what you want to do is drag in the boot image whether you extracted it yourself or downloaded it from telegram put it inside here hold shift on your keyboard press right click and then you should open with PowerShell. You can use CMD as well, but uh, PowerShell is just less of a pain to use on Windows. To make sure you have everything, type dir and 
you should have your boot image here, which is what we need. And so run fast boot and then press tab, which will auto complete the correct syntax. Then what you want to do is type in devices to check if your phone is connected. My one is. If your one is not working, you might need to update your drivers or something. So anyway, my one's working. So now what we want to do is fast boot, flash boot, and then the boot image. So you can just type in boot and then press tab and it will auto complete for you. And then press enter. So the reason we need to boot this is because we'll be using Lineage OS recovery to install Lineage OS basically, because <laughs> I could not get it to work with TWP. But this method is fairly easy. We can just, it's kind of like TWP anyway, so that's grand. And so then you could just type in fastboot.exe reboot recovery. And then your phone should start rebooting. Now, sometimes it doesn't boot into recovery, but if that happens, I'll just show you how to do it manually. All right, so this time it didn't reboot into recovery, which is a shame, but that's fine. Funny thing is the phone still reboots, even though it's using like Lineage OS, um, boot. <laughs> I just found that funny. Uh, what you want to do is power off and then just do the same trick again. Hold down the power button until you get here. Use the volume keys to cycle into recovery mode and then press the power button to enter. And then your phone should reboot and you'll be inside Lineage OS uh, recovery, hopefully. <laughs> All right, there we go. So as you can see, this looks different from our stock recovery that we normally use. And what you want to do is use the volume keys to go down to apply update from ADB. Click the power button. And then we can just leave the phone here and go back to our PC. So right now you want to copy the lineage zip file into your platform tools. So if we type in dear once again, which shows it's kind of like LS for Linux, you should see the zip file here, which is fine. Then you can do fastboot or ADB actually. You can do ADB devices and you should see your device here and you should see that it is side loaded as well, which is good. Then we can run ADB side load and then the file name so lineage and then you just press enter and then there you go uh, it auto completes for you you can press enter here and it'll start uh, flashing and if we go back to the phone you can see here it is also flashing so this takes around five minutes or so. So on the PC there, it actually shows the progress here. So just don't touch your phone, leave it running here until it's done. All right, and there we go. The command exited nicely there. And on the phone, you should be back to the home screen again. And at the bottom, you should see install from ADB completed with status zero. That means it's good. And now what we want to do is wipe data. So reboot to bootloader and press the power button. All right, right now we're back on bootloader. Go into here, type in fast boot. And then do minus W, which will wipe user data. It will look something like this and just wait for the prompt again. So yeah, once you get finished, you're good to go. On the phone, you can just press start and you should reboot into Lineage OS here. 
Now I'll make another guide on how to root Lineage OS, but it's fairly straightforward. And then I'll just make a kind of another video on like kind of cool stuff you can do with Lineage OS or kind of like cool stuff inside the settings. And there we go, we can see the nice Lineage logo or their boot animation. All right, there we go. So that's the start up here. Suppose I'll go through it, I might as well. And then I'll actually connect to the network here as well. All right. Oh geez, why is it so blurry? <laughs> All right, I'll set up as fresh because there's no data there anyway. And I'll skip this for now. And then just remove all of the tracking crap. And I'll skip this for now. All right, there we go. We have Lineage OS. Um, some kind of, yeah, so that's it. Um, for further kind of setup and all that kind of stuff, I'll make another video after I make the routing video. So yeah, thanks for watching and bye bye.